Hey guys, Colleen here at DIY Behind LemonThistle.com and today I'm excited to be back with Alexis from Persia Lou for another Silhouette vs. Cricut Challenge. In this series, we are taking on different capabilities that both the Silhouette and the Cricut have, how they cut different materials, how their different design softwares work, and we're putting them to the test. I am Team Cricut, so everything I do is gonna be made with my Cricut Maker and in Cricut Design Space, and Alexis is Team Silhouette. This time around, we are taking on fonts and how the design softwares handle fonts, uh, seeing how all the different things that they can do so that you can get fonts on your project without going to an outside design software. If you've used Cricut Design Space for fonts before and written it off, I wanna tell you that they have changed a lot and it is way better now. In the past, I have always gone to Photoshop and made my design with my fonts and then uploaded it as a PNG image because there just wasn't the capabilities that I needed. But that has changed and I'm so glad. Now I don't even open up Photoshop when I'm putting fonts on a project. I can just do it all right in Cricut Design Space. And so I wanna show you how you can do some fun things with your fonts in Cricut Design Space. Before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any DIY or home decor videos. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is start a new project in Cricut Design Space. From here, you'll see that down the side, you have all of the different things that you can insert into your canvas. So for the sake of this, we're gonna choose text. You can add your text here and I type a few different things that I wanna show you. Okay, so here are the different things that I wanna show you within here. So after you add your text, you can change the font of it. So if you double click to get to edit and highlight your text, you can choose from the drop down. Now, these are all the options available for text up here, and so we're just going down to font. You'll notice a lot of these have the A beside them. That means that they are Cricut Access fonts, which means that they are available for your use if you subscribe to the Cricut, Cricut Access program, or you can pay for them individually. Some of the Cricut fonts are only available if you purchase them individually. So like these ones here, these tags, or this one here, this is kind of a fun one, but you would have to purchase that individually. Whereas the Cricut Access fonts, are included just by subscribing, which is something that I've always found a lot of value in. So oh, here, let me do that one. And then curved, let's do just a simple. Okay, so when you're choosing your fonts, you'll see that there's these three ways to filter them. So you can filter them by Cricut fonts that are available through Cricut or you can filter them by system fonts, which means all the fonts that you have on your computer, you can access from Cricut Design Space. So this is awesome. This is like the best. So I'm gonna choose a one, this one here has really nice connections. It's a nice script or this one has nice connections too. I'm just gonna go with one that, here we go has really nice connections, but you'll see when you click on it, oh, those connections don't line up. So we'll get there. This one I'm gonna do in all caps. And you can also search fonts. So if I knew that I wanted to have, um, oh, I need to find mine. There you go. And so then you can find your fonts really easily that way. And within your design, you can't change different fonts. Like anything within this piece will all be the exact same. Okay, so let's start with curved because this one's nice and easy. That is just an option right here. So if you have a circle or if you have a heart or if you have a shape that you wanna follow, let's just go with a circle for ease. Then you can take your text and you can curve it around. So you just click this curve and you can curve it you can curve it down, you can curve it all the way in a circle. So for the sake of this, we're just trying to make it curved around the circle. See? Perfect. Okay, 
Next, and this is the one that I found the most frustrating when I was using Cricut Design Space in the past. And it makes sense. When you type out the letters, you want them to cut individually so that you can place them on your design. But if you want it to cut out all in one word attached, looking beautiful and scripty, this is not what you want. So at first I tried to play with the letter spacing, but by the time you got it close enough that some of them touch, others start getting way too crowded or start shooting out. Uh, the, the things here, you'll see that. See, this one here is perfect, but then this one's popping through. This one's perfect, but this one here is a pain. So I'm gonna bring that back up to zero, sorry, one. And instead of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this advanced field. Now this is what I'm really excited about them having added in Cricut Design Space. So I'm gonna ungroup this to letters. You'll see that there's three different lines here. So ungroup to letters. And so that means now that each letter is its own editable, editable text box. So I'm just gonna zoom in here so I can, I'll maybe make them all bigger so we can see a little bit better. And so now I can space them exactly how I want to. And if you wanna keep them online, you can just move them over with your arrow keys instead. And what I love about this is if you were trying to make like a bounce script, or for example, I made a 2018 uh, drink toppers and I used this for sans serif letters just to make them all connect so that they cut in one piece. And once that's done, then you can select them all and you clicked weld. And so weld will make them all one design. Okay, so the other thing that I found really frustrating is if I wanted this to be a square design, then I would try to change the size of just this one and I wouldn't be able to I'd change the size of all of them. And that was frustrating for me. So then I would go and I would make four different text boxes and write those things and try to edit it that way, but I'll show you what else I run into. For ease and simplicity, what Cricut has done is now you can click on this text box and under advanced, again, instead of saying ungroup to letters, you can say ungroup to lines. So this means all these different ones are gonna turn into their own text box. So different as a text box, sizes, same design. So now I can do what I wanted to in the first place and make this a box with all the words the same width. And then I could space them however I wanted to. You get the idea. So the problem with this though, is when I go and click make it, I, I'm happy with the way that this works. This looks awesome, looks great. I click make it, they're all black, but oh my gosh, they've gone and they've jumbled all around to try and make them fit. And I want them all together. I don't wanna have to place each word individually. So I'm gonna click cancel. Here is what I have learned is select all of these and then again you can either click weld if you want to make them all one design it basically turns all this text into an image so it's no longer editable like we did with the spacing but if you want to keep them all attached together but still be able to edit them you can click attached and so then these are all attached but if you unattach them or detach them i should say and then you can edit them again so now when i click make it see that design is all together Okay, so next is multi-layers, and that's what this last option under the advanced panel is for. And so if you click on this and you look over here in your layers panel, you can see that there's actually two different layers to this font. So there is the black and then the orange overlay. And if you want to, instead of having it as a text box this way, you can ungroup to layers. And what that means is you have this as one layer and you have this as one layer so that's something that's really nice you can kind of make it jump out a little bit if you want to by making the middle one smaller oops that's like too small but give it a perspective sort of look or whatever you want to do 
So that is another option. That's not something that I typically play with too much. I don't do the multi-layer things. But if you were gonna use a font like, there's one that's oops, a tag font. You can see there are three different layers. So this layer, this layer, and then the layer that cuts the circle. So in this case, then I could detach to layers or ungroup to layers. And you can see them separately. You can resize them separately, or you can just cut out the tags if you want to. You can cut out the tags bigger um, and then place these on after. There's lots of different things that you can do with that. But again, that's not something that I typically play with, but I thought it was of interest to show you guys the other thing that I wanted to show you is changing the fill. So over here, you can see that the line type is set to cut. So this means if I go and cut it, go hit make it, it's going to cut it out around the outside of this font. If I change it to draw, then it's just going to draw the outline of this. So if I go back to cut, and I want to fill it and have it cut. So for example, if I was using printable vinyl or cardstock, then I could go print here. And so that takes away the outline and that adds the fill. And so if I want to print it in black on cardstock, that's fine, I can do that here. Or I can click pattern and choose one of the many patterns that they have. This is one that I added in I uploaded it myself. You can um, upload your own patterns under upload. And I did this one in my how to use printable vinyl video. I can link that below. This is like a beautiful floral. If you look at it actually, Let's see how you can scale it way up. There you go. See, not lovely. Okay, so I think that that is everything that I wanna show you for fonts. It is pretty user friendly now that they've added this extra option of the advanced options here for text. I mean, there's also like the basics that you have in any editing platform. I can show you here. There's also line spacing if you wanna make them further apart or closer together. And then yeah, letter spacing again, if you wanted to make this further apart, you could font size, you can flip it, and you can rotate it here, or you can do that with this one here. If you are wanting to stretch a design that is text, then you can click this unlock button and you can stretch it this way, and then it lets you stretch it in different ways if you want to. But I typically like to keep this locked so that the aspect is the same. All right, so those are the text capabilities that I wanted to show you. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you are interested in the Silhouette software as well, I hope that you hop over and check out Alexis's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. If you have questions or topics that you would like to see covered in this series, please make sure to drop those below so that we can make sure to cover them as we plan out our series this year. See you guys next time.